Hello, my name is Davi Santos. Oh, this is unexpected. What are you doing here? You got a haircut. Yeah, that was a good time for a change. God damn, stunning, that haircut. Are you drunk or something? Well, if drunk equals A and something else equals B, let's just say the answer is definitely not B. Look, man, I know this is awkward. Maybe we should go outside. Marcus West, speaking to me. What an honor. Oh, God, Sutter. Come on, man, let's go to my car. Thank you, Excellency, but that won't be necessary. I am a fair-minded individual who thoroughly understands the meaning of the phrase kicked to the curb. Sutter. I bid you both a pleasant evening. Let him go. He drives better that way. Thanks for the vote of confidence, my lady. You are the most understanding woman in everything but love. Read the dirt. Please don't tell me this is one of those worried about your drinking intervention type things. No, it's more like a Amy Finicky intervention thing. What are you talking about? You're hurting her, dude. Don't you see that? I'm hurting her? How am I hurting her? We never once saw her drink before. Now, she's getting drunk in between classes. She's hung over every morning. Excuse me, since when did any of you give a shit about Amy? That's not the point. Of course it is. You don't know her. You think she's this little mouse who should keep quiet and hide in the corner, don't you? Well, I see more than that. I see someone whose dreams are as big as all of yours put together. Someone who can stand up for herself now. And you know why? Because of me. I did that. You think you're some kind of hero? Yes, as a matter of fact. Fuck off, Sutter. You're not a hero. You're just using her to keep from dealing with your own shit. Really? Shape. One girl gives you the time of day, and now you're the expert. Fuck you, yeah. Fuck you! Guys, cool it. Can we talk alone for a minute? It's a nice night. I've had better. This was my idea, so don't blame the guys. Look, we just want what's best for Amy. And that's not me? It could be, maybe, if you tried. If you really had this vast knowledge about me and relationships, then you'd know I don't have to break anything off. She'll take care of that soon enough. Just like you did. You think that was easy for me? Say what you want, but you're the one who made it clear we didn't have a future. But Amy's different. You're her whole world. She thinks there's a future with you and there isn't. Yeah, and what makes you so sure? What do you mean? I mean, I mean, maybe there is one. A future. Maybe in the fall, the two of us are moving in together. What? It's all set. Her sister got us a place in St. Louis. We're moving in after graduation. You can't be serious. As a heart attack. Just gave Bob my two weeks notice. Guess you don't know everything, do you, Cass? You're sure you're all right? Thank you, I'm a little, you know. You like it? It's good, it's different. Hey, I'm sorry about Doyle back there. I mean, he's a dick. I hope he didn't. No, no, we we're just talking. <laughs> wow, you're hammered, aren't you? Can I try that? This? No, this is some serious stuff. Just the taste. Ugh. How could you drink that? I've been at it for a while. You know who gave me my first beer? Who? Oh. My father. I was probably six. We used to go to baseball games every Saturday. He'd let me take little sips. Did you get drunk? Nah. But sure tasted nice and warm. Where does he know? Your father? He's an airline pilot. Flies all over the country. That's so cool. It's, he's so cool. He's a cool guy. I mean, the best. I don't know what he was doing with my mom that whole time. Their divorce? Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. She threw him out of the house a long time ago. But it's fine. Believe me, he's doing, he's a lot better off now. Sounds like we have the same mom. How's that? Well, for example, I got into college today, and there's no way my mom will let me go. You got into college today? Yeah. Uh, no shit! It's in St. Louis, where my sister lives. I don't know what to say, eh? Yo, congratulations! It doesn't matter, though, because my mom... Uh, <laughs> hold on, what's your mom have to do with it? She needs me. There's no one else to help with the roof. Aim. Seriously. Your mom is fine. She will be fine. She's a grown woman. You have to go to St. Louis. Yeah, but... No, no, no buts. Don't you see? You're like this 
this extraordinary genius chick, but you've got all these people making you do stuff. That's gotta stop. How? It's your life. Stand up for yourself. It's not that easy. Of course. I'll teach you. Here. Have another swig. Now, repeat after me. Mom, get off my motherfucking back. What? Say it. No. Say it. Get off my back. Dude, you've got to say it like you mean it. And the motherfuck is key. Trust me. Mom. Mom. Get off my motherfucking back, Mom. Get off my fucking back, Mom. Motherfucking. Motherfucker. Motherfucking. Fuck. Ah. Yes. Sort of felt good. I told you. Get off my motherfucking back, Mom. Say I'm a motherfucking business, Crystal. Ooh, Crystal got one. Who else? I think that's it. How about an ex-boyfriend? Fuck you, ex-boyfriend! Come on, you can't be 17 and not have one horrible ex-boyfriend you want to curse out. Nobody? It's not... I mean, guys don't really look at me like that, you know? You're crazy. Didn't you see Doyle over there hitting on you? And Cody Dennis? They weren't hitting on me. Of course they were. You're a sweetheart. I mean, just look at you. Whoa. Damn right, whoa.